Hi guys, my name is Jason and I'm going to show you how to change the fuel pump and the fuel filter on a 2007 Mercedes S550. I just recently received my parts from Mercedes straight from the factory. Right here. So, here we go. Here's my disclaimer. If you don't know what you're doing, go see a dealer. But this is an easy do-it-yourself project and there's always risk involved of fuel igniting or fuel exploding Go see a dealer if you don't know what you're doing. Anyway, let me tell you that uh, Mercedes recommends that you have at least half or less than half of the fuel in your car or some would leak out into the interior once you remove the fuel pump. So I suggest you either empty your tank or have less than half in your fuel tank. All right, let's get started. First step is to move the front passenger and front driver side seat all the way up so you'll have enough room to maneuver in the back seat. I have a continuous seat, so I'm not gonna go over others who don't have one, but usually the latches are in the same position. So if you look on the left side, there is one latch kind of in the middle of that particular seat you'll just have to push that in and lift up and do the same thing on the right side kind of feel up under the seat and push the latch in and lift up and you should be able to remove your seat from there all right let's get started this is what you see once you lift the seat up notice there's a bunch of crap up under my seat this is from years of kids eating and dropping things in between my seat. While you have your seat up, you might as well get a vacuum and you know, clean that stuff up, but I'm not gonna do it now. So over here on the driver's side, this is the fuel filter. And on the left side, you'll see you'll have the fuel pump. So we're gonna concentrate on the fuel pump right now. So what you're gonna do is lift these flaps and now you reveal the fuel pump cap. This is just another protective layer. And there's three arrows. One, two on the cap. And then there's one on the seat area right there. This is letting you know that the cap is locked. This on the right hand side, you have to get it and align it to the arrow that's on your seat. So turn the cap counterclockwise. If you can't do it by hand, I usually use the needle nose pliers. These are the tools I asked you to get at the beginning of the video. So what you would do is you'll take the needle nose pliers and kind of jimmy up under there and just turn the cap counterclockwise until the arrows match up. I already removed the cap, so that's why it came up pretty easy. Uh, next, you have to remove six nuts from uh, the top of the fuel pump cover. Uh, you will remove that with the socket wrench that I mentioned earlier. It's a 13 by 32 inch socket that you will need. Okay, I removed all the nuts with the socket. Just be very careful when you remove the cover plate. This is where the protective glasses will come in handy. Uh, this little black thing here might flick a little fuel on your face. Believe me, I know. Uh, so be very careful when you lift that up. So we're gonna place this over here to the side. And if you look down in that little hole, we have our, our fuel pump. Now that we have the top off, there are a couple of items that you need to be aware of. There's the fuel pump wire harness you need to remove that first the fuel line this black thing here and next is the lock the latch that locks the fuel pump in place we have two of those one on the left side and one on the right side so once you remove those items you can pull the fuel pump out
to remove the fuel pump wire connector harness. All we have to do is take your needle nose pliers and push on the small little clamp. Be careful not to clip the wires and it should come right out. Next, we're gonna remove the fuel line. To remove the fuel line, you see that little green item? We'll take the flathead screwdriver, push that green item in and pull up on the fuel line and it'll come right out. So you'll use your flathead screwdriver and push this little green button in. I'm not sure if it's different colors on other vehicles, but on mine is green. You'll just push it in and the fuel line will come right out. So there's one other step, and that is to remove these latches. Latch one and latch two over there. To remove those latches, all you have to do is just move it to the side, move it to the right, move the other one to the right, and then we can start getting our fuel pump out. To get the fuel pump out, I'll suggest you push those wires and the fuel line inside to the left hand side and then pull the fuel pump out. Because if you don't, you're not going to get it out. Those lines would just be in the way. So I pushed them out. Now I'm pulling the fuel line out. Be sure to put a towel around the area because some fuel might get on the interior. The fuel pump is full of fuel. So there you have it. Remove your, your wires out of the fuel so they can start drying. And let's change out our fuel pump. That's my new fuel pump, and this is my old fuel pump. Let's take a look how clean the filter is on this fuel pump. Wow, you can't even see it. It's so white and bright. Now look how dirty this one is. Oh, ew. Ew, nasty. <laughs> anyway, let's put it in. All right, I put the new fuel pump back in. So all you have to do is do the opposite of what you did to take it out. Quick, real quick, put the latches back on, the left one and the right one, put the fuel line back on, put the wire connector on, put the nuts and the base back on, and put the cap and put the flap on, and you're done. Next up, how to replace your fuel 